Hello, Music Bear here. Um, I had a upload on uh, Spotify SoundCloud where I um, did something with uh, piano roll. Used uh, piano roll in a different way than uh, I think normally. <laughs> um, and I promised that I would explain what it was I was doing. Uh, and this is it. Um, what I'm doing is that we, well, you know, uh, when we have piano roll, um, if we play. like that. Um, we can hear each note for itself and if we play uh, like this and we hear the chords. But we actually also hear the chord if we press our mouse here. Then it also play what is with this guy here, and that is these notes, the chord that is at that um, time slot. So I can play chords here. Now, this is velocity, but I can also do it in panning. And there it doesn't matter if I get uh, messy with the mouse. Uh, if, if, if I do like that, then it's, it's, it's too o o overwhelming, right? And if I do like that, then it's underwhelming, so to speak. But if I do it like that, it doesn't matter a lot. It's <coughs> And uh, I never have to want. Uh, uh, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is messy now. Yeah, but then I just select everything and I can fix everything again like that. By the way, if you have selected everything and you want to leave that back to uh, nothing selected, um, I, I have tended to do like this for I can't remember ever. Uh, just drop a note. And, and delete it immediately. But you can actually also press escape. I just press escape. So that's question about what you prefer. Panning starts the same. And that was actually very much like what I had uh, uploaded on Spotify. Uh, um. <laughs> And that was Danish. Um, SoundCloud. Mm. So this. What does I have here? That is, of course, a scale in a key. That it, uh, it doesn't have to be, of course. You could just drop in some random notes uh, and put them into uh, chords. But in this case, it is uh, chords in the scale of uh, a key. Uh, and I just put them in and it gives me, I only have a, a computer keyboard it gives me, you can't see that uh, it's outside the view um, uh, I'm not going to that's really the, the, the deepest uh, or, or the lowest uh, octave where uh, uh, MDA piano, which this is 
uh, sounds reasonably sane. And here is the highest um, uh, chord that can be played when it still sounds uh, okay. So it's, mm, I think it's five octaves, uh, I four, four octaves. Um, and that's much more than I have on my uh, uh, on my PC keyboard. Of course, if you have a uh, a MIDI keyboard, uh, th then you have perhaps the full 88 keys. Well, what I know, but uh, there's also some mini keyboards that only have two octaves, like right. And this is more. This is more. <coughs> You can also make uh, like trills, um, which isn't that easy to do, uh, especially uh, on a, uh, a PC keyboard. Uh, it would be difficult to make this. will say yeah luckily but that's another story I made a couple of mistakes there as well. but um, what then because of course we will have to have this uh, transferred into our project and how is that gonna uh, uh, take place no, there's only one way that's true audacity we have to record this I'm recording now but that's another story um, we have to record what we're doing, um, so to s in, in, in th these are not MIDI events now any longer, right? Of course it would be neat if we could take these and turn that into MIDI events. At the moment we can't. I'm gonna look at that. Um, because mm, there's a lot of producers that advocate using um, recordings instead of MIDI events. I, I really haven't figured out what the the, the 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 smart thing about that is and also there have been uh, LMS users that in forum has asked uh, for that uh, specific options. You could just use Audacity that records what you're doing but it's it's of course it's one uh, um, level more than uh, if if uh, you could do it directly in elements and it's also meant to come eventually uh <laughs> um <laughs> yeah uh, those veterans of elements knows that eventually can be far away <sighs> now uh, so let's uh, bring audacity in yeah I already have one prepared it's outside view so let's bring it in here it comes Yoo -hoo -hoo. here comes audacity brilliant uh pfft. or is it well, you can see the first thing here is that we have recorded too much, so whoosh, away with that immediately. Gone it was. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut it up. You also have programs that can do this, uh, that can slice, they're called slicers. And there's a couple of them available also for free, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then there's some commercial. There's always a commercial solution which is even nicer uh, normally. Um, but um, let's just listen to what I have recorded here and then I can show you how I um, fix it. Because, uh, no, let's, let's just play it. Then, then listen carefully. Yeah, 
uh, of course everybody could hear that there was problem s s uh, not just one several problems with the tempo uh, indeed there was uh, the first one comes rather soon uh, after the start listen again <coughs> that guy there has to come f a little bit earlier and it means that uh, I will uh, use the magnifier and just go in a bit here like that I'll just not leave everything out here let's listen again once more <coughs> Um, I would say about it's trial and error. Of course, you could probably do this. Uh, I don't know with an atomic clock. I don't. <laughs> um, and it moves. Neat, isn't it? Audacity actually moves everything into a new position. So let's listen to it now. Oops. Ah, from the start. Thank you. Maestro. Better. Yeah. A little bit more. I have to, to, to go into that. I could also start a metronome of course stupid me i could do that i could use a metronome and 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 and, and uh, listen to that i'm not gonna do that now either i are gonna do it like that and maestro yeah I'm not going to do anything else to it now, but there are several errors uh, upstream where the tempo simply doesn't uh, fit, and there'll always be that if you play uh, live, um, unless you're I don't know the best piano player in the world. Perhaps he has perfect timing. I certainly don't. And you can make glitches with this method with the mouse uh, easily. Actually, make a whole hit uh, too many. Maybe I didn't want it, it to go up there. Uh, I intended to, to to only stay here. Then, of course, I could make make uh, a hope ups uh, a a a. a a longer uh, uh, what what's called distance between these points, then I'm not apt to to uh, to 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 get so close to the other one. So if I wanna, it missed. My fault because the mouse actually glitched. You have to be careful with the mouse, of course. I'm not even close to this guy, right? That was a 200 percent. So, um, with with that, you can control the well. What do I say the incidence of uh, uh, yeah, well, glitched note. Uh, oh sorry, this is chords. <coughs> I think it's pretty funny. Um, a different way to play in piano roll where 
it's it's definitely for for us that only have a PC keyboard better. I think it's better. And um, yeah, uh, with with a MIDI keyboard, it may be not the the best solution in the world. Um, but um, try it. See if you like it. If you don't, don't. Um, that is everything I think I have today. Yeah, stay healthy. Um, take care. And uh, bye bye.